Kim and Sophia was over here doing the report too. I didn't know we that. Did no, we do the 945 break over here. Get out so, of here. So we're you actually on the air with Miss Sophia? We didn't even know that. So you we are a working girl like we are. No. Just, what, what, what? Yes, you are. You're what? Okay, oh, they're girl. blowing me off yes, so hard right now. Yes, you are. And you love it. I'm a housewife. Okay, fan. these girls are like... <laughs> okay, <laughs> Sophia, <laughs> you're like hijacking my interview. <laughs> oh, we're sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, Amy, sit down. Uh, Ladies, so wait, it's just two of you because the other girls aren't coming? Yeah, they're, they're not, not coming. They decided they to say the same at the other station. So, they were scared of Miss Sophia. But they're going to see us tomorrow. But you know what? That's cool, because you two are my favorite. Oh, thank you. That's what I'm saying. We just watched it. Look at that. Miss Sophia is like, oh my gosh, I couldn't. Anywhere? Have a seat. Yeah, you guys can sit next to each other there. Miss Sophia is going to be a part of the interview here. Oh, stop it. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Here, you know what? I'll have you go in this one. It'll probably be easier. Oh, cool. Okay. 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 That'll work. Okay. Let's go. Chloe bags, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. My sister loves bags. She loves shoes. Well, no. And I and uh, Sophia's taught me that I can never put my bag on the floor. Right. Oh, yeah, because your money goes to the floor. I heard yeah. it. Oh, I didn't know that this was a black thing. This is what I'm told. Is it? Is, I don't well, know. Someone told me that a long time ago. Is it a black ago. thing? Is it? Maybe. Is it? Yeah. This, this oh, my bags like, are always on the floor. Here, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Mine too sometimes, but I try oh, to remember not to do that. Do you want to put it in my No. You know, you know, all right, ladies. Okay, somebody go check. You want to go check the lobby? Oh, it's, it's ringing. It's ringing. It's in here. Okay, it's good. Ninety-two nine Dave FM. That's a new song from Mark Broussard called "Keep Coming Back." I'm Mira Davis. And I have Miss Sophia in the studio, but I also have some of the Real Housewives from Atlanta. Please say hello to Nene. Hi. And hello to Lisa Wu. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Now, and Miss Sophia's here, and um, they're like, hey, Mary, nice to meet you. <laughs> Miss Sophia! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> We're sorry. We're, We're sorry. catching up on old time. Yeah. <laughs> so this is now uh, the most talked about show in Atlanta. The, yeah. the Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? Mm -hmm. It's on everybody's radar, but not everybody is excited about it. Some oh. people are, you know, you know what I mean? Like, right. I, like, so how do you guys react to that? What, what, what's your feeling about how it's presented or how you're portraying yourselves? Well, me, Nene, if I'm portraying myself, I'm really staying true to who I am. So you guys, whatever you see that's going on with me on the show, I'm really being true to myself. So I didn't pretend, because I heard there were people out here saying that we were fake shopping and doing things, <laughs> right, you know, all this fake stuff. Everything that I do, I can't speak for the other girls. I was very true to myself. I'm very proud of that, too. Well, and uh, and do you feel the same way, Lisa? Well, you know, you can't really worry about it. I think if you're true to yourself and your friends and you know who you are, you can't really please everybody. I mean, because they might like me next week, and next week they don't like me. I might yeah. say something that they don't agree with, and mm -hmm. they may not like me. So did you guys, you know, I've been a fan of all the Real Housewives, the Real mm -hmm. Housewives of Orange County and the Real mm -hmm. Housewives of New York. Did you girls uh, watch those? I did. I, I did. did watch, yeah. yeah. I watched the uh, Orange County Housewives. I loved them. And I did watch the New York Housewives. I didn't like them as much, but I like Orange County. Well, now, why is that? I don't know. I just couldn't get into them for some reason. Okay. Know. Okay. They now, seem very sweet, though. Really? Some, I, you know, one of them reached out to well, me. Jill. Jill. Okay. okay. Listen to Nina. She is gelling it like it is. She's very important. She says exactly what she feels. <laughs> so, you know, I get in trouble for that sometimes. I'm learning to kind of hold back a little bit. Self-editing. Yeah, I'm sort of. She like has to apologize. A lot. I just tell it like it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, now a lot of people are having a problem because it's like the Real Housewives of Atlanta, mm -hmm. but a lot of girls on the show are not married. So how the housewives? <laughs> but the Housewives house? of Orange County, some of them weren't married. Yeah, yeah. in New York. York. So it's I don't true. know why we're Divorce. getting all this scrutiny. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm reading the pages, and they're like, "Okay, you're mad at Keith, your ex-husband. You're, you're mm -hmm. pissed off." And I'm like, "That's mm -hmm. not what it is. I have mm -hmm. three kids, and my mother that loves all of my children equally, and I have the right to say why they're not on the show. Their fa father didn't sign the waiver in mm -hmm. the story. It's not like I'm mad going around bashing him. They mm -hmm. took it and ran with it, and you know, it is what it is. Well, I've been married for 11 years to Greg." 
So I don't know anything about you know. And Nene, don't like, order the potatoes. Yeah, don't yeah. order the potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> you, know why he was on diet. you know why he was doing that? Because whenever I go on a diet, I always say to my husband, "Can you help me? Like, help me out." Because my husband is really bad about bringing sweets or ordering whatever, and he was trying to help. Well, me. you look hot. I got to give you so much. He yeah. was trying to help me out. So, but Lisa, I know you're the workout queen. In the I'm a little crazy in the gym. I mean, yeah. you are. I'm I mean, that's crazy. insane. So, did you already work out this morning? Not yet. Okay. Really? No. I'm surprised. No. Looking tight. No. So, <laughs> I need to work out. This is now, you brought up, you brought up Cheat. Now, Cheat did issue a statement saying that, you know, he was talking about you want the kids on the show and he didn't want the kids on the show because, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot going on, mm -hmm. people kidnapping kids and, you know. Kidnapping kids? <laughs> yeah. Why, what does that have to do with anything? Kidnapping but he was kids? saying that, you know, because his kids didn't ask to be in the limelight, he wanted, he'd rather keep them out of the limelight oh, and that's something that saying. they choose to do than let them do that. So now, and then also he was saying that, you know, on the show, you know, he has custody of the kids for the last, like, seven or nine years. He's had Five full years, custody like of the kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said, now you want to get on the show and act like, you know, you, the kids are with you all the time, which well, that is not. you know, the situation is, really, Keith has them, but he's not physically with them all the time. I'm at the practices every single day. Mm -hmm. I'm at the football practices all the time. I really don't want to get into that, and I really don't want to talk about Keith, because the bottom line is, they're not on the show. I love well, all of my children. That's what it is. And I really don't want to discuss it. No, and I, I, and I understand. I think it's a tough call when you do these reality shows. Yeah, Because it is. what they do is it exposes your lives. Right. You know you're getting into it. You've signed a lot of paperwork yeah. to get you into it. But then they do the filming, and then you watch it, and are you surprised about what footage they use and what they don't use? I am surprised. The editing is yeah. very brilliant, but um, like we had a chance to see the first show. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, what do you think about it? And I was like, well, you know, whenever I talk about any of my kids, I talk about all of them. You know, I knew that they couldn't visually be seen, sure. but I didn't think that you were going to take out when I talk about them. Sure. I'm like, you should have at least given me that. like. Okay, when you mention your kids, I'm going to take this part out. Sure. So, so the media or everyone else is thinking I just don't talk about them, right. not knowing they've just been edited out. And I understand from a production standpoint that they have to protect their issues. So I'm not mad at them. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. And you so understand it, but I understand that. I mean, it's it's you know it's a tough call. You right. Know? You can look at the one hand where you would say uh, maybe it's okay to have them in there because you guys agreed to do this, right. and then. You agree to do it for whatever reason, and right. then they portray it in a certain way. I mean, I know some of the other housewives from Orange County specifically had some issues with the kids on television or whatever.